get some catfish today, Mike. Well, today we're heading out. Try for some midsummer catfish. Out for some channel cats. Usually, summer ain't the best time to get them, but it's been a while since we've been out fishing, so figure we'll give it a shot. Best time of the year is in the spring before the spawn. Pre spawn bite's always the best, but I gotta figure there's gotta be a few catfish left in here. Some of them headed back to the lake, some of them stay in here. All right, we're gonna try this first spot here at the bridge. Don't know if we're gonna get anything. Like I said, we normally just fish the pre spawn. A lot of times, hard to find the bigger cats, so after catching big ones, it's kind of hard to come out for those little ones, ain't it, Mike? But we're going to give it a try. First time in many years we fish midsummer. What do you got on there, Mike? Well, today we're using the usual. We've got the chicken liver sack. A chicken liver sack. It's a little smaller because the water's a little clearer than we water's used. Water's clear, so we we'll tied it in red mesh instead of fluorescent pink. Okay, what else you got? A slip float. Slip float, so you can set it down with some split shots so you can slide the knot up. Fish that about 12 foot under. It's about 12, 13, 14 feet deep in spots under here, so we'll set it about 12. All right, man. Let's see if we get anything. First cast. We like I said, we don't know what to expect. And I see it go down. My got one running with the bobber. Set the hook. Got him. Well, let's see what we got here. First time in years we've ever tried fishing in midsummer catfish. And uh, Mike's got one. I'll beg Mike. We usually only fish the springs. That's when your best chances of a big fish is springtime, but I don't know. That fish has put up a pretty good boil, man. Dude, that's a big one, man. I didn't think there'd be a big ones like that. That's a big one, man. That's a nice catch. That's Mike's first cast. First cast in midsummer, and he's got a fairly nice sized channel. Look at the size of that. He's got. All right, Mike, I brought the scale. I got a new scale, so we lost ours at the bottom of the lake at the other spot. What did it say? 12, 12 pounds, 10 ounces. Oh, let me zoom in on it. So that's 12, 10. Now it's going 13. It's about to be 12. Between 12 and 13, so it's right up in the 12, 10 to 13 range. Okay, lift it a little higher. Yeah, 12 pounds, 10 ounces. It would jump between 12, 10, and 13, so it's not a bad channel for first fish of the day. Yeah, kind of surprised me. I'm like, nice, nice channel. A little skinny, but over 12 pounds. All right, man, how we do it? How we do it? Nice channel. All right, about four or five casts after that nice one, 12 pounder, Mike's got a little smaller cat. This is a good sign, good sign. Dude, that's a little cat, man. That's a baby. Pick him up, let me get a little quick look. Little fiddler, all right, man. Well, we at least know there's still catfish in this creek. Today, with the water being as clear as it is, it's about maybe four foot of visibility at least. You can see down pretty far. Today, we're using a blood red mesh, tying up our chicken liver sacks. There's one of the sacks, blood red, more natural. A lot of people think, you know, it doesn't matter with the catfish, but around here, they're kind of finicky. And out of all the catfish species, channel cats probably have the best eyesight. You know, Often caught on lures when people are fishing for bass or walleye, they pick up a cat on a lure. I got one last year on a twister tail, it's cast and retrieving. So, I'll tell you, man, since Mike got those two under the bridge, been fishing all these holes and nothing, man. Mike had one fish pop. I'd figure after spawning, he'd be pretty hungry, but fishing's been extremely slow.
lot. isn't like it is. The pre-spawn, spring catfishing, but there are a few catfish left. We've only had a few bites today. Probably a couple hours since Mike got that nice one under the bridge. We fished all the good spots and a little slower in the summer to heat it, heat it a midsummer bite. But there are a few to be had. This one here he's fighting good Mike. Look at him. He's going down. Had him up a couple times. He want to go back down. There he is. Oh, come in. He's just about ready. He's kind of skinny. I, I thought they'd be fattened up after after the spawn. He's still a little kind of skinny, but we'll put the scale on him and see what he got. This one here, 10 pound, 10 ounces. See if you can zoom in on that scale. 10 pounds, 10 ounces. <sighs> Not like them 20 pounders and big pre-spawn 20 pounders we get, but for a 10 pound, 10 ounce catfish, put up a pretty respectful fight. All right. <sighs> 10 pounds, 10 ounces. Ten pounds, ten ounces. Didn't get skunked at least. See you, Mr. Catfish. Well, a little slow today. We both got a catfish. I'm happy with that. We'll see if we get another one. Tell you what, we've been fishing for a couple hours on a bite. And as soon as I let that one go, threw my other rod back in. Right, it's just one under, man. Maybe it's feeding time. It was about got out here about maybe about 12:30 in the afternoon. Nice hot 84 degree day here. We got him, Mike. Oh, did you see him? Yeah. Oh man, that was another one. Maybe about 12 pound range, 12, 13 pounds. He just spit the hook right by the canoe. Oh man. Still working it pretty hard, fishing all the good spots, the cut banks, the deeper holes. So far we had five bites today, four fish hooked. Definitely ain't ain't the good action that you get in a pre-spawn spawn in the spring. We'll give one more spot a try and we'll head back over by that bridge. In front of the bridge is the deepest hole on the creek. I guess about 22 feet. Most of the other holes on this creek are anywhere from 8 to 12 foot deep. It's not a very deep creek. Catfish. Finally, we've been working hard today. That's why we don't fish the summer because the fishing ain't that good. Nothing like the spring springtime fish, the pre-spawn bite, but finally got another cat on here. I got my anchor on there too, Mike. I'll pull this damn anchor. There he is. <laughs> there he is. He got wrapped on the anchor. Uh, he's off. We'll pull him in now. 
That's a decent channel. Huh? He's not a little fiddler. He's bigger than a little fiddler, Mike. He's bigger than a fiddler. Ah. A decent one, huh? Yeah. 4.2 pounds. 4.2. I wouldn't have thought he'd be a 4.2, but he's 4.2 pounds. That's what I figured. At least we got a couple today. A couple decent ones. No monsters like we do in the spring, but the midsummer bite's kind of tough. Best catfish in the year is in the spring, pre spawn bite. Probably in most other places in the fall again when they're putting on a feed before the long cold winter, but we got a few. That's probably why we don't normally come out there in the summer. Fishing's always a little tougher in the summer, you know, am I? Yep. Yep, we back out in September probably. Start doing a little more fishing. Summer's too hot for fishing anyhow. We gave it a shot, got a few. a massive monster. Look at the size of that, dude. Look at the size of that. This is an absolute monster. Oh, that is a huge catfish. Oh, that is bad. Nesting in a tree here. 